Hey, Jim Bergman on behalf of AccuTools. Probably once a month we get a call and somebody says, hey, my, my vacuum gauge is giving me really erratic readings and uh, you know they just can't figure out why. And so I wanted to really show you how we got to the core or maybe the core tool of the problem would be a better way of saying this and what the, how to get this problem fixed. So when we say we're getting a, an odd reading, right? Um, this is a, uh, what we're talking about here. So you start doing a quick pull down and you get this, um, this sawtooth type pattern here. And what's happening is the vacuum is actually uh, making and breaking or going deeper than, than breaking. And uh, the reason you see this is because the, the blue vac gauges are just such high uh, precision, high accuracy and high sensitivity gauges. And so you're seeing things in vacuum you might have never seen before because the other ga gauges simply don't have uh, that type of sensitivity that you can see these types of issues. And this really is an issue. And let me explain to you what it is. This is a, a vacuum core. This is a valve core. This is what we would pull out in order to, to get the flow. But it's also the same core that's on the side here of the core tool. And if you look at this, if we open this thing up, I'm just going to push on it. I mean, there's just a little tiny hole there that opens. And so when this is just cracked off the seat here, what happens is you get a small film of oil around this. And that oil will actually, just from a surface tension, it'll bubble and break, bubble and break, bubble and break. And that's what you're seeing. That's the sawtooth line on there. And the way that you stop that is you fully open up the uh, valve core on here. Now here's where the problem lies. If you look at the, um, you know, we have obviously here we have a, a vacuum gauge and a gauge coupling, and this is the Schrader core depressor. And so when you thread this on to the, uh, onto your core tool, right, that's gonna go down and it's gonna push that Schrader core in. But take a look at the height of the Schrader core. So you can see on this, on this Appian core, if I turn this just sideways, it sort of disappears because it's down below the edge and it's down a few thousandths of an inch uh, below the, the edge of the flange. Now, if we take a look at an AccuTools one and look at the same thing, you can see how much higher that is on there. So that, that Schrader core, I can actually push it with my finger pretty easily, where this one, it's impossible. I can't even get down to it. It's still a few thousandths away from my fingertip. And that's the issue that we're seeing. Now, it doesn't mean you necessarily have to throw away all your Appian core tools. They're, they're good core tools, but you do have to make an adjustment, and this is what this is. So on your stem, on, on, on all of the AccuTools uh, products, this is actually adjustable. So you can see right now it's pretty flush on there. And what you do is just take a pair of needle nose pliers, and you just turn this a couple times, and it'll actually unscrew. It's a threaded connection, and you'll see now that it's up quite a bit higher. And now when I thread this on to the AccuTools, it will, or, or the uh, Appian core tool, it's going to fully open that side port and you'll be good to go. Now the other thing to remember is these gauges can handle a thousand PSI of pressure. So what a lot of guys do is they simply just take that core all the way out and uh, don't even bother with it. And if I can get their, their core tool in there, it's a little tight. There we go, I got snapped on. Wow, all right. Let's use ours. All right, so we'll pull that core out of there, and now that core's removed, and this is what, there's a small, you can see how good these grab the core here. A lot of guys say they have problems pulling cores out. Well, ours do a very good job of grabbing that core on there. They have a small O-ring in there that grabs and holds on to that. So that's a really nice feature. The other thing that we did that I really like on these is they increase the, uh, the size of the plunger. This is actually, Ron Dreisick suggested this. And so that larger plunger makes it a lot easier to push in when these are under pressure to push these in and hold it in there. So there's a lot of advantages to using the, the AccuTools uh, core tool on there. These are, again, you know, for use in vacuum. People want to talk about vacuum rated, but there is, there's really no such thing. There's no body that, that says, you know, you can say, oh, it's vacuum rated to 20 microns, right? Now, the way that you test these things, and we also get that question a lot of times, is, hey, my, my core tool won't hold. Well, let me just explain this for just a second. So if I take this gauge and I were to connect it to my vacuum pump, you know, and, and uh, thread this on here, and, you know, pull a vacuum and then isolate it like this, right? You're going to see leakage on here. And you're going to see it because the volume we're talking about is literally this big. I mean, you're talking about a, a, an eighth of an inch in diameter, right? so so tiny in there that they're going to see the leak rate again because this gauge has got such high sensitivity you're going to see things you might not see in other gauges 
totally normal. What you want to do on here is attach your rig to the system, you know, back to your vacuum pump, have this wide open, and you want to make sure that you're, you can pull down within about 25 to 50 microns of what your pump can pull. So if your pump can pull down to 25 microns, I should see you know, about 25, 26 microns to 50 microns on this, uh, uh, depending on how long you let it pull down. Eventually, though, the tool will get very close to the same at the pump end and at the hose end. But you can't just valve this off and test the leakage of the core tool unless you want to leave it on there for you know, quite a while to get completely dried out. Very, very, very slowly close this off. Then you'll start to see it. Now, one last thing that, uh, that we did on these to really improve the design is we got rid of this double O-ring. So I don't know if you can zoom in here a little bit so you can see. Um, if you own an existing AccuTools core tool, they actually make a new gasket for these that we, uh, it's an improved design. It's a one piece gasket that doesn't get torn up. A lot of the double O-rings, when you look inside, you know, this one's not too bad because it's new, but a lot of double O-rings inside here will get torn up over time. And again, you won't get a good vacuum on them. So these have got a, a far superior O-ring on there and it's just overall a better core tool. But um, you know, when it's time to replace them, look at the AccuTools brand, but until then, you know, you can keep using what you have, but just be aware that you're going to have to adjust that depressor so that it fully depresses, or you're going to have to remove that uh, altogether if you're going to continue to use uh, your Appian product until it's time to replace it. So anyway, just wanted to, to point out these things, make sure you understood a little bit about core tools and how to use them, and uh, hopefully this helps you when you see your saw going on your graph when you're using your blue vac gauge. This is Jim Bergman. Thanks a lot for watching. But wait, there's more. I forgot I was going to talk about this in the video. Probably one of my favorite tools here, this is actually called a valve core depressor. And what this is for is when you can't get in and, uh, and open a valve core all the way. Like let's say, you know, this is an air conditioner and it's just too tight to pull out the valve core altogether. Uh, this is pretty common on Lennox units they make and they're really hard to get the valve cores out of. What this tool does is you thread this on here and then you, you drive that in and it drives that Schrader core fully open. So it's a little plunger, pushes it all the way open and we get flow through this side port on here. And it will open it up substantially further than you can open up on your own, right? So that's gonna make a big, big difference. And when you pull this back, this is actually a service valve and it'll back seat. So it's gonna lock that, uh, that flow back in. Then we can, you know, hook our hose here, purge our hose, and then open this back up and charge the system. One last thing, some people ask, well, why do you have two different colors of core tools? The red handle is a 5 16 The blue handle is a quarter inch. Both are, this is quarter by quarter. This is 5 16 by quarter. So, but this is what we typically use for mini splits, and this is for standard air conditioning. So that is the end.